Hola mis amores, bienvenidos a la comida Jeremy. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today's video is going to be featuring a amazing store called Viet Ho. I hope I'm saying that right. If, if I'm not, please correct me um, in the comments down below. But today, basically I want to show you guys a grocery haul that I picked up yesterday from a place called Viet Ho. It's a Vietnamese grocery store here in Memphis and they have so many cool freaking things. And I promised you guys this video last year and I told you if you would be interested to see this and I would take you guys along with me. So a lot of you messaged me saying yes. So I decided to go ahead and film it. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to vlog it though. Um, I was actually going to an event so I didn't have time to like really film and go into it. But with the short amount of time that I was there, I definitely was able to buy a bunch of stuff and get a nice little grocery haul for a couple of weeks and add some new ingredients to my fridge and pantry. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And I just wanted to say yes, that I am sitting on the floor again. I don't know, sitting on the floor is just really easy for me to find like the best lighting. And also I feel like, um, you know when people go on safaris in those movies like in, um, in, like, in countries in Africa or they're like in South Africa or like they're on a dinosaur, like Jurassic Park adventure. That's what I feel like I look like today. Anyways, I wanted to go ahead and get into the produce section because I feel like that's the most boring part of the video always. Um, even though veggies are amazing, but I just think that there's more exciting things to have on hand when you're going to stores like this. So first, I wanna show you guys, what, oh, so I got some broccoli. Um, I got two crowns of broccoli. I just love broccoli. The stems are pretty long, so I like broccoli like this that's like usually a little bit longer. Um, and it's just nice to have on hand. You can do so much with broccoli. You can um, turn it into, what can you do with broccoli? I can't even think, stir fry. <laughs> um, juice it, you can add it to salads. I like to add it raw to salads and like marinate it in some dressing. There's just so much you can do. The next things that I picked up were some more yucca. I got this not too long ago and I was filming a video on it, but they went bad pretty quickly. So I had to go pick some more up. And yeah, I'm gonna cook these up very, very quickly. So like today or tomorrow. Um, but yucca is just basically kind of like a potato. It's a very starchy um, vegetable, I wanna say this is. I don't know, but it's very starchy. You have to like peel it, boil it, and like really cook it in order to really enjoy the flavors of this. That's another reason why I love the international store because they always have like all the Caribbean things that I enjoy, such as plantains. So I picked up a couple of plantains. Um, I'm gonna be actually making some mofongo and um, I just love green plantains. They're so versatile and you can do so much with these things. If you haven't seen my recipe video on these, be sure to click up here or in the link down below so you can see what you can do with these. Okay, now for like the exotic part because like the Caribbean stuff I'm used to. But for this, I have never actually had, I think I've had it like only like bomb meats and stuff. Um, I forget what this is called. I think it's called a daikon. I will put it up on the screen. But basically what people do with this is pickle it. Um, there's many other things you can do with it. But the reason why I got it was so that I can pickle it and put it in, like in salads, put it on banh mi sandwiches. And um, I really just want to try new vegetables and stuff. So that's why I picked this up. And all of this was so cheap. Like, that's why I love international stores because their produce is usually way cheaper than the actual like mainstream grocery stores. Um, so the next thing that I picked up was some sweet bok choy. It was only $2.39. Um, I've never had this kind of bok choy. I always have like the deep green bok choy with like the bigger like stems and like the big leaves so this looks more to me like um lettuce but i'm gonna try this out see if i like it and i'm gonna look up some recipes and um if you guys have any ideas of what i can do with this let me know down below in the comments um but yeah i'm excited and i just love trying new vegetables okay now on to the more exciting things i'm just gonna pick up bags randomly i got a couple here and i got a couple things here so this one and i'm again i'm also sorry for having plastic bags I just freaking forgot my bags because I was um, grocery, I was going out to an event. Um, so I really wasn't really prepared for this. Um, but in any case, so I picked up some oyster mushrooms. These are usually way cheaper than any other store. Um, so these were $2.75 and there are so many ways you can cook this. Basically what I do with them is make like fried chicken, um, make oyster po' boys. Also, excuse me if I have like a list. I bit my tongue and it like hurts to talk, but we're pushing through this, okay? Next thing that I picked up was some soybean miso paste. Um, I've only gotten this one time from like Sprouts, not this brand. It was like a whiter miso paste. 
The reason why I got it here is because they have so many more options, so many more delicious options. Um, Whole Foods and like Sprouts and other grocery stores, they sell things like this, but I feel like it's more like a white, like Americanized version of things. And like I really just prefer the authentic thing. So I picked these things up like this so that I can really have the authentic flavor in my meals. Um, so I'm excited to like play around with this and basically it's just like a red miso paste. You can add it to ramen, you can um, make dressings with it, you can just do so much with this. And so what I'm going to do is basically um, put half of it in like a mason jar and the other half I'm going to freeze because I'm not going to go through this as quickly as needed. Um, I don't even know when this expires. Okay, well it doesn't look like it expires. But I don't want it to get like moldy or anything, so that's why I'm going to freeze half of it. And um, it'll last me a very long time. So this was honestly like super cheap. This is only like $1.99 for all this miso paste. And if you're a person like me that doesn't really use it as much, it's going to last you forever. So the next thing that I picked up is some red bean paste. And basically, it's just like a sweet, sugary bean paste. Like literally, it's red bean like mashed up with sugar and like a little bit of water. And that's basically it. But it is so freaking good. I've only had this one time and it was inside like sesame, like fried sesame balls. And the flavor was just so amazing. I have a video of me tasting that. If you want to watch it, it's up here. So the first canned item that I picked up is this right here. It's basically jackfruit. I always pick this up from like the international store near me or at Trader Joe's um, because it's just more convenient for me instead of driving so far. Um, but you can use this for so many items and that's why I picked it up because that was already there. It is pretty cheap usually. It's like a dollar something. They do actually sell the whole jackfruit but that is usually way more expensive because it weighs so much. Um, also it takes a lot of work to cut it up and cook the seeds so um, yeah, this is just more convenient, especially since I don't really eat this. Um, basically what I use this for is like mock meats and different entrees like tacos, um, barbecue sandwiches and those kind of things. But the latest Pinterest find that I've discovered is fried chicken with jackfruit. So I'm definitely going to give that a try and that's why I picked this one up and I'm so excited to see what it comes out like. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up is some banana blossom. So basically I discovered this about four or five months ago on Instagram. There is a restaurant in the UK and they basically have what is kind of like fish and chips and supposedly it is very, very similar and people really, really enjoy it. So I wanted to replicate it because I grew up in New England and New England is very similar to the UK and we have like a lot of the same things like a lot of our parks and stuff are called like Shakespeare names and like England names and we also have a lot of fish and chip shops fish and chips shops in Connecticut and in New York and that's something that we normally ate when I was living in Connecticut with my mom and my grandma they just love eating that stuff and I really wanted to replicate it and I just really love to like blow people's minds with things so I just really wanted to see if it really did taste like fish or like really did have that texture of fish um so I found it I sent my mom about like a month ago to go look for it at an international store called Food Bazaar in Connecticut and she did not find it but I found it but basically it looks like this and they're just like yeah these banana blossoms and this is actually what a banana blossom looks like in real life and basically it's something that is grown in thailand so like i was gonna buy these on the internet and they were like 20 dollars for four cans guys this was only a dollar 99 literally a dollar 99 and i was so freaking excited to find it so um yeah just stay tuned for some recipe videos with this and we shall see what we make um Got three cans and I'm just glad that I can find a supplier that's close by and I can pick some up whenever I want in case that I do fall in love with this. Okay, so the next thing that I got is some vegan vegetarian fish sauce. So it's basically um, vegetarian fish sauce and it's kind of like a soy sauce. It says soy sauce on there. And fish sauce is something that's really used in like Asian dishes and I love to cook Asian dishes and like Asian meals and I just love having the real sauces. And a lot of Asian markets have many of their sauces like veganized or vegetarianized and which really is just vegan. But so I saw this last time that I went there in the summertime and didn't pick it up but I said I am going to get it the next time I go and it was so cheap. So the next thing that I picked up is some lotus leaf buns which is basically bao buns 
Um, the last time I picked these up, I think I did a grocery haul, but they were mini ones and I didn't notice. Um, so yesterday when I was at the store, they were next to each other and I realized that the ones, the ones that I had originally purchased were actually mini ones and that's why so many came in the package. This one only has 12, but I mean that still is a lot. Um, so I'll probably make this half for dinner tonight with some vegan meats that I'm about to show you. Um, so this is vegan black pepper steaks and it's imitation beef. This is a company based out of California. Um, I don't really see them in too many places other than that store and like the grocery store near me with the international market. Um, but basically it's literally just vegan beef black pepper steak. Um, and what I'm going to do with this is make some white rice, which I also forgot to pick up some white rice from the grocery store. But I got some brown um, um, basmati rice, so I'll definitely make some brown basmati rice with broccoli and pepper steak for dinner sometime this week. And I'm so excited to try this one. I've never tried this one, but they definitely had a lot more flavors and options this time around, so I was so excited. The next thing that I picked up is some lemongrass tofu. Um, this is just lemongrass, like fried tofu, and it's already prepared for you. So all you have to do is like heat it up. You can put it on a skillet. You can chop it up a little bit to um, make some more pieces. Just like when I want to cook at home and don't want to spend money, I get this and I put this in the freezer and just have it there for when I want. Um, and I just wrap it up in something else so that it can last a little bit longer. Because these are pretty big cubes. So what I do is just cut them in half and like I'll eat like three or four and cut those in half and that's what I'll have for dinner and save the rest in the freezer. Okay, so the next thing that I've got was some tofu. I swear, the Asian market is so freaking cool. Um, so I picked up some tofu and this is just sp five spice flavored tofu and it's like a smoked tofu. It's like brown and just really nice and ready for you. So what I'm gonna do is just chop these babies up and cook them and stir fry them and they're just readily delicious. Like, you don't really have to add too much to this because it's already, like, made and seasoned for you. Probably like, a nice little brown sauce and you're good to go. And noodles! So I got some Pad Thai noodles. Um, basically, this is just Pad Thai noodles. Not much to say about it other than it's ready to go. You can add this in many, many different, like, noodle dishes. Um, they even give you, like, some ideas on the back. They even give you, like, an idea for the sauce to make for this. Um, so that is awesome because sometimes I make sauces and, like, I want a new sauce to try, but Pinterest be failing me. So in the tofu section, they have this thing, and I didn't think that it was vegan, but upon further inspection, it is. Because a lot of times, some of their soy stuff is actually, like, meat stuff, but with soy in it. So... Kind of defeats the purpose, but the Asian stores and markets are definitely known for like their soy meats. Um, so they had these soy chicken slices. Um, they don't really look like chicken per se. I don't know what the hell they look like. Um, but basically they're just like these round disc things. And, um, and it's literally just soybean water, um, sodium carbonate and salt. And you can keep it frozen for up to 18 months. So that's gonna last me forever and whenever I want some kind of like tofu-y, soybean, like meaty texture thing in a meal, this is gonna be my go-to. Okay, so these last ones I'm like really excited about because I had never seen these before. So the first one is some vegan barbecue pork. And I'm gonna use these for the bao buns tonight. And um, yeah, basically I thought it was more of like a like shredded pork, but this is more of like barbecue chunks. Um, they're pretty like square shaped. So um, definitely gonna chop these up a little bit more, toast them up, and they also have like the sauce already on it, so that's really convenient. Um, and you just, I guess you just cook it up. So I'm definitely gonna make some coleslaw right now, make some of this, and um, I honestly forgot that I bought this until I just saw it right now. So I'm definitely so excited to put this in the bao bun. It's gonna be so good. The next one that I got, I will also make with like broccoli. So this is vegan citrus spare rib cutlets. And basically it's kind of like, kind of like an orange chicken, but not really. They also had orange chicken there, but I didn't pick it up. Because I'm honestly not the biggest fan of orange chicken. But this one I was a fan of when I was, you know, not vegan. So this is more of like a pork style meat. And um, yeah, basically put this with broccoli, some other stir fry veggies and with some rice or noodles and it is a delicious meal. Super easy for convenience and for the week when you are not in the mood to cook, these things are amazing to have on hand. 
Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in today. If you haven't already, be sure to go check out your local Asian market because they offer so many cool things. And just be sure to read the labels. A lot of times it has Asian verbiage and then at the bottom it usually has the English ingredients. So check that out. Be sure it's vegan. Pick it up and you know, just support your local minorities and also try new things. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.